Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to work on shapes and positions of those shapes. You're going to need your math packet page 655 through 660. Go ahead and grab some crayons and a pencil and you will be ready to begin. Okay, what we have here is a picture of what looks like a bedroom. And I'm guessing it's a kid's bedroom because we've got toys in this bedroom. But also what you can see in this bedroom is some of the different shapes that we've learned so far. So we're going to trace the outline of those shapes. So let's see, can anybody find the shape of a square? A square. If you remember from the beginning of this chapter, we learned that a square is a four-sided figure that has four points or vertices and all of its size are the same size. I see two squares, boys and girls. Let's trace the two squares. The chair back is a square, so I'm just going to trace right over it. So you almost can't even see it because we're going to do something else with it later. So the green chair back is the shape of a square. And I would also say that the tabletop is the shape of a square. It has four sides and four points and it looks like those sides are about the same size. So we found two rectangles in this picture. Now let's see if we can find any circles. Boys and girls, do you see any circles in this picture? I found one. The clock face is the shape of a circle. So again, I'm just going to trace it so I know where that circle is. Do you see any other circles? Yes. The ball is the shape of a circle. Good job. There are no sides on the circle. Both of those shapes are round and look like they could roll. Now the last shape we're going to look for, or the second to the last shape we're going to look for, is that of a rectangle. A rectangle. And if you remember, boys and girls, a rectangle has four sides and two of those sides are long and two of those sides are short. And there's several rectangle shapes in here. I'm going to highlight two of them. I'm going to do this rectangle headboard on the bed here. And actually the bed itself is the shape of a rectangle. Uh, you could go as far as saying the wallpaper is in the shape of uh, rectangles, but we're not going to get all crazy with that. So if you found a couple rectangles, you're doing great. Now, the last shape we're going to look for is the newest shape we've learned, and it's the hexagon. The hexagon, and this right here, this little teeny tiny one right there, I just drew a little arrow by it, is a hexagon. And if you remember, the prefix hex in the word hexagon means six. So a hexagon is a six-sided figure. Can anybody find the hexagon in this picture? Yes, if you saw the green hexagon on the trash can, good eyes. That is a six-sided hexagon. Good job. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a position word. Remember, a position word tells you where something is. And then you are going to draw a specific shape around that object. So let's see. Let's go first. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to circle the object that is above the desk, above the desk. So remember, we said this is a square shaped desk right here. So this is the desk. We're going to look for the object that is above the desk, above the desk. What object, boys and girls, is above the desk? <gasps> That's right. The clock is hanging above the desk. I want you to draw a circle around the clock. We have circled the object that is above the desk. Good job. Now, boys and girls, this will be fun. I want you to draw a square-shaped picture above the bed, above the bed. Now, you can actually do it in two sides, on two different sides. You can do it here, that's above the headboard of the bed, and you can do it here, which is above the actual side of the bed. I'm going to go ahead and draw my square-shaped picture above the headboard of the bed. So I'm just going to draw a square. And if you remember, a square is a four-sided figure with all the same sides the same. And I'll just go ahead and I think I'm just going to draw a smiley face in there. 
in the picture frame right there. So you can tell that it's the picture above the bed. Now, I want you to draw a rectangle shaped basket in front of the bed, in front of the bed. And I'm going to go ahead and say, if this is the headboard of the bed, coming all the way to the front of the bed would be about here. And I'm going to draw a rectangle basket. And so I'm going to do it laying over on its side so it looks like a toy basket like this. So my rectangle is four sides. It's got two long sides and two short sides. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and put some lines in it to make it look like a wire basket like this just to give it some detail and you can tell that that is the basket that is in the front of the bed. Good job boys and girls. Now we're going to continue doing this through these next couple pages. So let's go ahead and turn the page and I'm going to read you the instructions. We'll do the first one or two together and then I'm going to let you listen to the instructions and pause the video. So if you look at number one up here in this box at the top. And it says to circle the object that is beside, beside the rectangle picture. So there's two pictures on the wall. One is a rectangle shape, the other is a triangle shape. So we're gonna circle the object that is beside the rectangle picture. So if this is the rectangle picture, what's beside it? That's right, this triangular shape picture. So what we're gonna do is we're going to circle that picture. It is beside the rectangle picture. So we've said that that is a triangle. Good job, now what I want you to do is you're going to draw an X on the object that is above the box. So where you're looking for is above the box. So if you see this box, we're gonna put an X on the object that's above it. Well, what's above this box, boys and girls? The rectangle picture. So let's put a big X on that so we can see that one. Good job with those positions, boys and girls. Now, you are going to look at number two, which looks like it's pictures of a farm. You've got a tractor, you've got a barn, you've got a bale of hay. You've got a horse over here and a uh, pig over here. So let's see what we're going to do in this picture here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to circle the object that is above the barn. Above the barn. Did you pick the sun? Good job, boys and girls. The sun is above the barn. It is over the barn. What shape is the sun? The main shape that you see in the sun is a circle. It's a round object that has no sides and no vertices. Now what I want you to do is I want you to put an X on the object that is right in front of the barn. Which object is right in front of the barn? That's right, boys and girls, the bale of hay is in front of the barn. So we're gonna put an X on the bale of hay. Do you remember what shape that is? It's a four-sided figure with two long sides and two short sides. That's right, boys and girls, it's a rectangle. Good job. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to give you the directions and you can pause the video as you need to to complete the instructions. So if you look at number three right here, it looks like you might have a picture of a locker room. You have a table, you have some sports equipment here. Let's see what we're going to do in this picture. So the first thing that I want you to do is circle the object that is below the table. I want you to find the table and there is an object below the table. I want you to circle that object. Good job, boys and girls. Now what I want you to do is I want you to put an X on the object that is next to the box. So I want you to find the box and I want you to put an X on the object that is next to the box. Great job. Now I want you to draw a box around the object that is above the box. So find the object and find Find the box and find the object that is above that box. It's over the box. When you find that, you're going to draw a box or a rectangle shape 
around that object. Excellent work on that one, boys and girls. So you should have circled the baseball. Did everybody circle the baseball? You should have put an X on what looks like the playbook. And you should have drawn a rectangle around the hexagon. Awesome job. I'm going to let you do number four all by yourself. So you won't even check this with me. You're just going to do it, and we'll see if you get it right. So in number four, you're going to circle the object that is above the clipboard. Boys and girls, do you know what a clipboard is? We use those when we do the write the rooms at school. This is the clipboard, so you are going to circle the object that is above or over the clipboard. Next, you're going to draw a box around the object that is next to the racket. Next to the racket. If you haven't played tennis or badminton or racquetball, this is a racket. So you found the racket. I want you to draw a box around the object that is next to the racket. Nice work, boys and girls. You're going to turn the page, and you will be looking at box number five, and you've got a house right here. And we're going to be working with this picture first. I want you, oh, we get to use our drawing skills in this one. We're going to draw a rectangle window above the door and next to the other windows. Okay? So you're going to go above the door and next to the windows, and we're going to draw a rectangle window. And don't get too worried about it, but I am going to go ahead and put some detail in it like the other windows so you can tell it looks like a window. Good job, boys and girls. Now, in picture six, I want you to draw a swing behind the dog and next to the other swing. So you should be putting that behind the dog and next to the other swing. Pause the video as you draw that swing and let's see if you did it right. Miss Brockman will draw one. Okay, good job boys and girls. Welcome back and I'm going to really do some detail on this one because I can make the chain of the swing out of little bitty circles and then the seat of the swing I'm going to make using that rectangular shape, a rectangle. Good job. Flip that over. Oh, we've already done it. We finished that page. Now all you have left is homework. So what I want you to do for your homework is have your mom and dad sit with you, read the instructions, and you are going to be locating the position of stuff. You are going to be using where something is and marking it somehow. So when you finish that, you will have completed that lesson on shapes and position. See you next time.